Today we're going to discuss why benzocaine based products and teething in children do not mix. So let's roll that intro and start the discussion. What's up everyone, Dr. Eric Jackson here. Hope you're all doing well. I wanted to talk today about benzocaine. Now benzocaine is a analgesic, right? It's a, it's a numbing agent, it helps to numb. Uh, it's typically topical. Um, in fact, it's often used in our topical, our dental topical gel that we put on the gums prior to uh, giving an injection or whatnot. Uh, it's also found over the counter. Uh, in the forms of uh, Orgel, Ambisol, and the like. You can get it at the pharmacy. So what's the problem with benzocaine? It's been safe for adults to use uh, for years, generations, right? Well, that's fine, but more recently, in the last generation, uh, studies have come out showing there's a link between benzocaine used, benzocaine-containing products uh, like Orgel and whatnot, and, and potentially uh, deadly conditions in young, young, small-bodied children, teething-age children, right? Babies. Um, why is that? Young children, uh, they have smaller anatomies, smaller organ systems. Um, they can have severe reactions. And what kind of reaction is that? Well, using these, these products, uh, these benzocaine-containing products, it can induce a, a very long-worded uh, uh, condition here, methemoglobinemia. So it's Methemoglobinemia is essentially when you have an elevated amount of methemoglobin, which in high concentrations can lower oxygen levels that are transported through the body's cells and through the bloodstreams. Messing with the body's oxygen levels is obviously a potential problem, right? So when you are using these um, Orogel type products, these Ambisol type products to help your child, uh, soothe, soothe your child during um, their teething moments, their terrible teething moments, well, that is actually putting them at risk for this. Now, it's not an automatic, I don't recall the studies off, off the top of my head, it's not um, a guarantee that this will happen, but don't do it. Just don't use benzocaine for teething, right? Well, what should you use? Well, remember, first off, humans have been around for thousands of years. Uh, they've been around far more, they've lived out in the wilderness and caves and everything since then, right? The human body can get through teething just fine. We all did it when we were younger. Um, everyone after us will do it as well. But whenever you can, it's never a bad idea to help uh, soothe the child. It would help you as well, a young parent. And I've got the, like I mentioned, I've got four children. I understand what teething is not the most fun time of, of the uh, child development years, right? What can you do? Well, there's lots of products out there. And I'm not just picking on uh you know, benzocaine containing products. There's a lot of products out there that shouldn't be used in addition to just benzocaine. Uh, those are for future videos as well. But good old fashioned cold washcloth, good old flat fashioned teething ring, uh, a pacifier to gnaw and chew on. All these tried and true remedies work. They're safe. It's very important um, that you keep things safe if you're going to be doing anything at all, because that's the whole point, right? We want to keep the young child safe and, if possible, ease their discomfort. You can always remember uh, massaging the gums if the child is having issues, massaging with a clean finger, uh, or maybe combining a little bit of these, these things, taking a, uh, a clean finger and massaging a cold washcloth over the, uh, over the gums. Um, having them suck on that kind of thing helps out quite a bit, much like icing a, a twisted ankle. And remember, if things are really bad, if the teething is just something that you think this is really terrible, please always consult your medical doctor, right? Uh, communication is key. You know, you'll find these, these uh, commonalities in my video, right? My video series. Communication between the patient and the medical provider, patient and the dental provider, different providers to providers. Always important to keep open lines of communication. So if you think it's something that's a little bit more than normal, Call and ask, don't just act. Also be careful of what you find on the internet because it doesn't apply to necessarily to your child. Um, the internet is a wonderful resource for information, but it doesn't provide specific information for your child's medical needs. So please consult uh, their medical doctor. Uh, he or she will be able to direct you better. Um, what they probably will talk about is dosing, uh, the proper dosage 
of uh, you know pediatric ibuprofen, pediatric uh, Tylenol, something along those lines. But don't jump right to that. Uh, try to work your way through to that. That with you know, the cold washcloths and and the and the uh, the other anal, you know the other natural type analgesics first. So in summary, uh, you know teething is kind of like a big storm. You know it's going to come through. It's going to hit like a you know a, a ton of bricks, and then it's going to finally go away. Right? It's going to pass. So this too shall pass for anybody that's going through the teething years. Trust me, it goes away. Um, Try to make sure that you open lines of communication with your dentist, with your medical doctor, and when in doubt, um, do minimal, right? Do minimal because you don't have to throw the kitchen sink because we know uh, human beings are designed to teeth. So thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you learned a little bit of something about the dangers of um, benzocaine use during the teething years. Uh, please share it with any neighbors. I know surprisingly when I give lectures to uh, parent groups, uh, mom, dad groups, uh, it often is unknown. Um, there's a lot that's changed in uh, pediatric dental recommendations over the last, even the last 10 years, uh, but especially in the last generation. So pass it along, share the video if you like. And of course, if you like the video, uh, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, make sure you hit the bell so that way it'll, it'll um, notify you whenever I upload another video. Um, please leave any comments or questions below. Uh, I love hearing from the viewership. Everyone's got such wonderful things to say and fantastic feedback and comments and questions. So thank you so much in advance. Um, based on past performance, I know you won't disappoint in any way. Um, take care of yourselves. Take care of those teething children. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much. Bye now.